race in the final eight. Well, if he does, it would be a huge upset. But the thing is, he's actually got both the power, the speed, and the stamina to go, to go ahead and do it. So, uh, you know, all hands up, he's got a fair chance at it. And that's what the martial arts is all about. Last time, Kamakota fought a Japanese opponent. He had a gutsy second round stoppage win in the K1 Max Final Tournament reserve fight against Kori Uramaki last October. The hands of Kamakota are awesome. But that said, I believe Masato is probably the best boxer in all of K1 Max. He probably really is. Um... I mean, have a look at the boxing clinic he put on last year to make it through to the final of the Budokan, especially against Buakau, who he dropped in the first round with punches. I mean, the thing with Masato is, everyone thinks that he's, you know, matured as a fighter, but he keeps improving. And the thing about Masato is that he came out of the press conference and said, yes, Virgil is a former IBF champion, but I'll happily outbox Virgil here tonight. <laughs> Knockout ratio. 
K1 record of seven and four. Masato, a 35% KO ratio. The Japanese veteran, a K1 record of 31, four and one. It is the main event from the sold out Hiroshima Green Arena, the first ever K1 Max show outside of Tokyo, and it's great to be a part of it. The voice, Michael Chevello, ringside with Nicholas Pettis, Masato versus Kelly Koda. And Masato opens up like a house of fire. <laughs> Do you see the people standing up in the back? This is unbelievable. They need only have sold the edge of the seats for this one because everyone here is on the edge of their seats. Step up, Nico. Oh, 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 and Virtual Answer for the turning left hook. Yeah, get him ready to go. Kalagoda, former IBF Intercontinental Champion. Masato is the man who beats boxing champions. Don't forget, he destroyed former IBF world champion Vince Phillips. And then last time out on New Year's Eve, he destroyed former world champion Yongsu Choi of Korea. Right hand up the outside, strike it. It's like Masato fights on fast forward. That's how quick this guy is. And at the moment, Virgil Galagoda forced to cover up. Masato's speed is just sublime. Virgil checks a low kick. Never shot from Masato. Again, look at that three punch combination. Nice evasion, gets back to center ring. Kalakoda takes an inside thigh kick. He takes another boxing combination. Kalakoda wearing more leather than the village people here in the first round. Nice up and cut outside thigh kick. Up and cut from Kalakoda. Sartor said at the press conference he'd happily up box Virgil. Oh, he heard him there. Big body shot again from Masato. Step up, need the bread basket. Big outside striking. Just tenderizing the quadriceps. Then goes to the back leg of Virgil. Turning the tan from Virgil, didn't have the starch behind it. One minute to go. 35 seconds remaining, first round set for three body three. Oh, good shot. Another one. Sato is loving the body shot now. Yeah, but he's popping them left shot in the chin there. Yeah, another one. Again, left hook from Virgil Calicoda. Calicoda here using a... 15 seconds to go. Old school uh, boxing style defense there, crossing his hands. Final 10 seconds of the opening round. Switch up round kick from Masato. Nice long reaching jab from Virgil. Oh, and Masato ends with the right hand. We get to the towels. Nick Pettis, how did you score it? I'd say 10 9 to Masato. He just had um, more clean shots and finished his combinations a lot better. Plus, uh, after about 20 seconds into the fight, he totally had uh, Calicoda where he wanted him to. Had him in his distance the whole way through. Masato just. Work rate is extraordinary. Masato has had that many fights and he's been around for so long, you assume that he's actually a lot older than he is, but he's only 29 years of age, Nick. Yeah. I mean, you assume the guy must be 34, 35 with all the fights he's had, all the experience he's had, but he's still not out of his 20s. Well, I mean, that goes for a lot of the guys. Look at Andy Sauer, he's still like, what, 25 or something like that? Cow as well in his mid 20s. They are absolute phenoms. And Masato, who opened up like a bull out of a gate, 10 9, he takes it on our scorecard. Five for Lemoy helping out in the corner of Virgil Calicoda as we roll into the second round of three. The last available place in the final eight to be held on July 7th. Nice body shot again. Up round kick from Masato. Second jam from Virgil. 
Champ outside fighting, Virgil checks it, goes to the body, then to the head. Virgil Calicota has taken more body shots than Al McPherson. Again, Masato cracks away to the outside lead thigh. Body shot once more. Big body shot. I mean, you keep landing them off. Of. It is that very small target between the hemline and the elbow region. And Masato is finding it with precision every time. Yeah, he's going just behind the elbow, which is a very hard angle to hit at. What does it feel like when it's getting hit there? Mm. With a clean shot, you will not be able to stand on your feet and put it like that. But then you have to be relaxed in the stomach at the same time, so that's the time extremely well. And you see here, Calicoto is packing up and he's got a real tight defense. That means even when he does get hit in the, in the ribs like that, um, yeah, his stomach muscles are tense, so he can actually take a lot of damage and punish him. Wilds up a gun from Masato, went so high, St. Peter knocked it back. Nice jam there from Calicoto. Turning the kick outside by kick. Bread and butter stuff from Masato. One and a half minutes remaining here in the second round of three. Once again, I've got Masato ahead in this round. Good front kick from Masato. Those punches fell short from Virgil. Masato is invasive. But regardless, if you do can if you are able to take the punishment in the rib, um, it still saps your energy a lot. I mean, Masato has been keeping Kalakura at exactly the distance he wants to during the first round and the second round. Also. He's picking his shots more or less exactly as he, as he wants to. And Masato, as he vowed at the press conference to outbox Virgil, may very well be doing that here at the moment. 45 seconds to go in the second round of three. Good turning right hand from Virgil again. Didn't have the mustard behind it. Gets underneath the right hand. Nice left hook from Virgil. Put him on the jaw. Left hook again from Virgil. Nice short, tight talk on it. Oh, Step nice up knee. knee. High round kick from Masato. Hasn't been a lot of the high kicks. It's been more of a boxing contest and leg kicks. Masato, a nice tight guard upstairs. Not allowing Virgil to get through. Have a look at the reddening on the left side of the body there of Virgil from where he's taking those consistent body shots of Masato. Two rounds down, one round remaining. Nick Pettis, your scorecard. Uh, I'm going with Masato again. I think he's just... Uh probably doing more but looking from what we uh, saw in the, in the last fight uh, with Will Carl and Albert Cross I think that uh, this could probably be a 10-10 round actually. Sartor just pounded away to that lower right side of the carcass. Virgil got off some good jabs and some very stiff left hooks. And they're very short and very deceptive. Masato he's got a very strong chin so he can take the shots. Masato standing between rounds here. Virgil's chosen to sit down. Third and final round. We've got it 2018 in favor of Masato after two. Again, goes to the body. Masato, right and quick. Virgil checks the inside thigh kick, double forearm guard against the round kick, switch up round kick off the rear leg. Oh, the big cover! The big cover! The big cover! Oh, that's why he proves to be who he is. Calipatis for the kill of dance! It's good night, I read Masato's done it again! Masato's done it again! He is a good one Oh, here's another machine. Oh, him and Wilco. They say in the final. Oh, man. They say the freaks come out at night. It's night time here in Hiroshima. Oh. And the biggest freak of all, Masato, has knocked out Virgil Galagoda. Overhand right. Right on the tail. This is one of those shots that we, we never saw it coming. Just like 
Obviously, Virgil didn't either. Wow, Virgil was out before he hit the canvas. Masato said, yes, Virgil's an IBF boxing champion, but I will outbox him here tonight. And once again, the man who has become the nemesis of every boxing champion who has ventured to K1 Max. He defeated former WBA world champion Yongsu Choi at Dynamite. Years ago, he knocked out Vince Phillips, the former IBF world champion who had beaten Costa Zoo. And tonight, he has knocked out the former IBF intercontinental champion, Virgil Gallagoda. What a great moment for Masato. He makes it through to the final eight in the world yet again. Came over the top of the lowered left glove. Virgil spun around 90 degrees. Then a little pirouette and hit the canvas. And the demigod, the pin-up boy, Masato, who broke so many hearts in 2007 when he got married. Once again, as he always has been and always will be, the pride of K1 Max in Japan. Oh, this year, I'll do it. 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 Brian Knight is such a gentleman, Masato. An athlete of the highest order. Kalagoda, just having a look over at him, still recovering. Masato has made it through to the final late on July 7. His next opponent will be chosen via a lottery draw. And this is how he got there. A highlight reel knockout of South Africa's Virgil Kalagoda. He set it up box Virgil, and he did as only Masato can do. And all of our fighters now in center ring. The final eight have been determined. They are Masato over Kalakoda. Buakel Pukramik over Kraps. Arthur Gashenko, who defeated Jordan Tai. Yoshihiro Sato, who took care of business against Murat Dereki. Andy Sauer will go again, one step towards defending his title. He KO'd Mike Zambides. Warren Stiebelman's over Saro Presti. Kido over Lim and the awesome Gago Drago over Glory. Nick Pettis, having a look at the eight guys who are now through to July 7 and the final eight, who do you fancy as your top two? Top two, good question. Um, looking at it like this, I guess, definitely think that um, Masato will be up there. Now the question is, uh, all, of course, about what the draw is going to be like and who's going to face off each other. But uh, Andy Sauer, Wokal, um, all three of these people are definitely contenders to be in the final. If you had to pick one dark horse out of the lineup, Drago. Drago's your man. It was awesome tonight against Gory. Absolutely hammering the man they call the Tyson of Tagane. What about that man there, Yasuhiro Kida, the Muay Thai stylist? A crunching first round knee knockout over Korean Max champion Chi Bin Lim. It was an awesome performance tonight, I mean, but it didn't really show much because um, we haven't seen him going up against the, well, the non-Japanese uh, champions yet, so uh, it'll be interesting to see how far he can go. Perhaps the most impressive performance of all was Gago Drago. Andy Sauer's knockout of Mike Zambides was superb, as was Kiddo's KO of Lim. The power performance perhaps went to Buakau, although a little bit of controversy over the decision process there. And Masato once again showing that when it comes to Japanese talent, it's not that man Sato, it's Masato, who is the number one gun still. Not to forget Arda Koshinko versus Jordan Tai. Wow, that was what a one of the best fights of the evening. So to toe they went. Koshinko took it in a close one after Jordan Tai dropped him.
in the second round. Also tonight, as we saw, Hiroya over Tsukasa Fuji in the World Youth Fight. There's Koshenko. He's through to the final eight. And those are the eight men who will comprise the final eight on July 7. We will have four single match fights on that night. The four winners will then go through to October 1 and will fight in a four-man tournament to determine the K1 match champion for 2008. As it stands at the moment, these eight men now go to a lottery draw, very similar to what happens in the K1 World Grand Prix heavyweights. They will draw names out of a hat, literally, to choose who fights one another. And you can just see either combination of any of these men would make for the most mouth-watering lineup you could possibly imagine on July 7. Can Buakau, can Masato reclaim the titles they once held, or will Andy Sauer yet again reign supreme? It has been a magnificent night here in Hiroshima, this historic city that has so much K1 flavour about it, plays host for the first ever K1 match show outside of Tokyo. We had a sellout crowd of 7,000 on hand, and they ate it all up as Mr. Tanagawa, the head of FAG, just congratulates all of our combatants here tonight for what once again has been a showcase of the highest order of fighting on the planet. That is K1 match. Folks, we hope you've enjoyed it all from myself, Michael Chavello, saying a big thank you yet again to the Blue-Eyed Samurai, Nicholas Pettis. Nick, we'll work again together next time. Thank you. Thank you. And folks, we will see you July 7 for the final eight of the K1 Max 2008 series. From us, it's good night.